Thank you so much for returning to my YouTube channel. My name is Rana Lynn. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Rana Lynn. I live on the big island of Hawaii and I'm a Hawaii content creator. So let me go ahead and reverse the car and we're gonna have a serious conversation on the way down to the beach. Let's reverse out of the driveway. I actually used my iPhone to go ahead and film. Today, there's no earrings, no makeup, no makeup at all. Why? Because this girl is finally making a decision to get down to the beach. And you're asking, okay, why is that a serious topic of conversation? Or why did your thumbnail look the way it was? said and I will definitely explain myself I just want to get out of my subdivision I have a school district right above me so let's rewind about 30 days let's also fix my camera so I feel like I'm in focus so before I even start this conversation I just want to say that I'm not a therapist not a psychiatrist, I'm not a doctor, I'm just sharing something that happened to me and you know just me talking about it makes me upset. So about 30 days ago, a little over 30 days ago, I had a situation where I was sitting in my living room and we were generally just talking in the living room. And I felt a little nauseous and dizzy. So I thought it was just something that, you know, my sugar level was a little low. And I literally, in front of them, passed out. I mean, like, when they say lights on, nobody home, or you know, like your eyes are still open, you have shallow breathing, they're trying to communicate with you. Jim and my stepdaughter were trying to communicate with me and I was not responding at all. They said that um, I was basically out. My eyes were open, I wasn't drooling, I wasn't having a seizure, you know, I wasn't vomiting or foaming at the mouth or anything. I was just zoned out for like, 30 to 40 seconds and then I came to and wondered you know why they all why are they both you know looking at me the way it was you know I just had no inkling at all the only thing I can remember was prior to to that a few seconds before I zoned out I felt nauseous because I was mentally talking to myself and saying you know I'm feeling kind of nauseous you know, maybe I need to stand up and go to the bathroom, you know, to go, to go throw up. And during that period when Jim's daughter and Jim observed me just sitting on the couch, they said I ended up just slumping towards, towards the pillows. I didn't fall or hit my head or anything. And they were trying to communicate with me and I just was not responding. He made sure that I was still breathing just in case he needed to call 911. And they wanted to make sure that I was comfortable. You know, I, I didn't fall over. I was just slumped over on, on, on the couch. Sitting actually on the couch. So just kind of leaning against the couch because I was sitting sideways. And, you know, I came to and, you know, I was still a little lightheaded and everything. Went to my doctor um, a week later and specified that at that time I was under, you know, a little bit of um, stress and I wasn't really eating. I mean, we all know what it's, what it is. It's, you know, I mean, when you're having lupus along with, at that time, 30, over 30 days ago, I was just coming out of a, just a lot, a lot of stress. And um, and that's not something that I can talk about here on my channel because I want to keep it private, but I was just under severe, severe stress. And I think 
that four or five days of just hardly eating because when you're upset, you know, you always feel like you have a knot in your stomach. Um, you feel nauseous, you have loss of appetite. But now the gym is off island for a couple of days and for this next couple of weeks, off and on, he won't be here. On beautiful days like this, I normally go down to the beach with no hesitation. I'll pack my beach bag, um, my beach chair, and put on my bathing suit, got my hand on, got my sunglasses, and I'm heading down to the beach. And you know, before Jim was leaving from Maui, I expressed to him that my anxiety and my fear was just through the roof. And I think a lot of it is, it's not, you know, I don't want to come across as be un, being ungrateful, but, you know, I love being in the water. And the last thing I want to be is by myself in the water and pass out. Because I know that if that ends up happening, I'm going to end up drowning to death. And, you know, just... Just knowing that this beach or lagoon that I go to with Jim and or when he's busy or working, I go by myself. It's my happy place. I bring my journal, I bring my book, I disconnect from social media, I leave my, my cell phone in the car. You know, I make sure that I'm surrounded by a few moms, especially if they have babies and stuff. I'm in the water for like hours. And like today I'm going down, and even though I had to talk myself into getting out of the house, and wanting to go down to the beach, just to enjoy the sunshine because I live in Hawaii and you know be able to go swimming I'm scared I'm gonna be honest I'm scared but yet I'm mad I'm mad at myself for allowing this one time in my life situation to restrict me from doing anything that I love doing whether it's going on to the garden by myself, weeding, walking in my neighborhood, or like today, going down to the beach. So when I was talking to Jim before he left for Maui, he specified, well then, you know, go down to the beach, be careful when you're driving. I mean, you know the symptoms that you have, when you know that you may be having an episode, and of course I always tend to Rebuke that in Jesus' name, but that's not going to happen. It's just going to be a one-time thing, and everything's going to be fine. And everything's going to be okay. It's a beautiful day. We've had rain for, like, the last couple of weeks. And today is, like, one of the few days that it's, like, really sunny. I'm a very outdoor kind of person. I don't like to be cooked up at home. You know, especially when Jim is not here. He, you know, we, he leaves the car behind, our car behind. So, I'm able to... Go to the farmer's market, go meet a girl for lunch, go to the to to the beach. And this morning I just had to tell myself, you know, that I'm just not gonna allow this one episode to hinder me from one going out, from driving, and especially going down to the beach. So today I have my journal, I have a good book, I got some guacamole and chips. I got some fresh fruit, got my bottle of water, I'm going to make sure I'm hydrated. I had a good breakfast this morning. I haven't been feeling nauseous or dizzy, which is good. And, you know, I just wanted to share that, that, um, you know, we can't allow things like fear to hinder us from wanting to do things that we want to go ahead and do. Now today... Am I going to go into the water unattended? Even though there are other family members around there, but, you know, they're enjoying themselves. A lot of the time I'm floating. I mean, I don't bring a flotation device. I'm thinking of going on Amazon and putting, you know, like how small kids have like a flotation vest. I'm thinking of purchasing something like that. But today when I get down to the beach, I'm going to set up my little area at half in the sun and half in the shade. And... 
I'm gonna quickly go into the water, take a quick dip, and then get myself out. Other than that, I'm gonna be putting on my SPF and enjoying the sun. I texted um, three of my family members, letting them know that one, this girl's doing the car vlog on the way down. And I'm gonna text him when I'm there. Normally, I leave my phone in the car, but I'm gonna take my phone with me because I'm not gonna be in the water like how I normally am. I'm like part fish. Normally, I'm in the water for like an hour, hour and a half, and then I get out, and then I go back in for like another hour and stuff. But, you know, I'm gonna give it, it's been a little over 30 days since the last, the first, and hopefully the last episode that I have. But, um, yeah, I just thought I, you know, talk to somebody. I'm able to talk to Jim. I don't really want to burden my two boys with it. My younger one knows. My older one will find out as soon as he listens to this video. Um, it's nothing very serious. My doctor wasn't really concerned. He thought, you know, you probably had low blood sugar and you passed out, you know, because Jim has a meter that he checks his uh, keto numbers and sugar and it was a little on the low side and that was after eating so I think with a combination of stress and not eating for that few days off and on just you know munching and stuff like that um, that probably caused it but and I apologize if you can hear my air conditioning but this girl wants, wants to be nice and cool but I'm talking in the car oh, it looks like maybe high tide is coming in which will be nice so i'm probably going to go into the water into the shallow areas quickly you know do a quick dunk and get myself out make sure i have my phone with me in my beach bag and you know maybe take the opportunity to collect more beach shell beach shells catch up with my tan make sure i'm with my spf catch up with my journaling read my book and then i'll text my family when i'm leaving the beach so I don't know. I just needed somebody to talk to. And I know you're probably thinking there's other people in the world that are that are in worse conditions as you. They're in, you know, wheelchairs, don't have their arms, their legs. You know, you're right. For this particular topic, it might be meager. But you know, when you have an episode where you pass out. But 30 to 40 seconds when you're in the water and or maybe driving it can be a serious situation so I so I look out if I'm feeling a little lightheaded or dizzy for now like I'm driving I can pull over on the side of the road hopefully turn off the ignition but um, passing some construction but I don't know I just want your feedback I mean When I see that it's sunny, I almost fight the issue. Like my gut feeling is telling me, don't go to the beach, don't go to the beach. Something's gonna happen, something's gonna happen. You know, you should, you should just stay home. You should just wait until Jim is there. You should wait until one of your kids can go with you. And you know, I think to myself, and I and I was telling Jim this before he left for Maui, cause he's gonna be there for like a couple of days off and on for the, for the next two months. And I told myself, you know, God forbid, one of these days, Jim's not gonna be here. I can't depend on him to be my personal chauffeur and or wait for him if I want to go down to the beach. You know, my my kids and my stepdaughter have a life of their own. You know, they're going to be married, they're going to have kids and everything. I won't be able to bother them, you know, and going down to the beach. So I need to make a decision and say, you know, I refuse to allow this one situation to hinder me from doing the one thing that I enjoy doing, and it's going to the beach and enjoying some natural vitamin C, enjoying the scenery, getting out of the house. I really won't be on my phone with the exception of now vlogging and talking to you. So I know a lot of you are like, you sound like a little hypocrite. You're thinking you're not going to be in your electronic devices, but I'm not on my electronic devices when I'm finally at the beach. I'll text my family and say I arrived safely. And then my phone is in my beach bag. I put it, I put it on airplane mode and or I lock it in my glove compartment and I just won't have it on me. It's a time for me to recharge, um, to enjoy the scenery, to enjoy mother nature, to just listen to the ocean, to catch up with my journaling, to catch up with a really good book. And yeah, I kind of 
fought with that decision this last couple of days. Yesterday was sunny. I chose not to come down to the beach, which made me extremely upset with myself. And it's only because I've never been in a situation where I'm gonna allow anything like that to control me. I know there's safety precautions, I'm able to go on Amazon and order myself a safety vest. I think that might make me feel a lot better. So I'm able to be in the water a little longer. I just need to find an adult version. So if for some reason, and I'm not saying it will happen, if for some reason, I want to have another episode, at least I'll be floating. Face up, not face down. And hopefully somebody will end up noticing. But my family does know that I'm down here. I'm not just, you know, flying off the seat of my pants and um, coming down and not letting them know where I am. So there's about three people that know where I am. I'm going to be down here for a few hours. And I apologize for being so upset, but I just wanted to talk about it. I kind of find that bravery in me to just say, you know what, screw it. Life is too short. I'm going to come down and enjoy the beach. So I'm parked close to the front. I'm going to have to change style. So what I'm going to do is uh, turn around the camera and show you this lagoon beach, which I've shared in the past, and show you what it looks like. So hang on. So from my car, that's what the lagoon looks like. I'll be down by the um, lifeguard station, even though there's no lifeguard on duty probably around that area there. But this is what the lagoon looks like. I'm gonna pan over. This is what but this is what I put my phone in. I clamp it right here onto my rear view mirror. So when I'm car vlogging, that's where I attach it to. I'm gonna pan over this way. And that is what the lagoon actually looks like. There's some pavilions down at the end. It's a beautiful day in Hawaii. I'm gonna go take a quick dip in the water once I set myself up. So I'm gonna be done by the lifeguard station, taking in some sunshine, texting my family, letting them know that I got here safely. So let me turn the camera back around. Okay, so I'm at the beach. I don't know what it is. I think I feel so much better being able to talk about it. A lot of you might think, oh my goodness, she's, this is just ridiculous. But it is what it is, yeah. We can't ha allow certain things. I mean, I do have lupus, mild anxiety and depression, which my depression and anxiety was actually, to be honest, my um, depression is definitely under control. But after this situation and situations like this when I want to come down to the beach but not fully 100% enjoy myself you know it does give me a little bit of does give me a little bit of anxiety you know if I if I feel a little hesitant maybe going into the water I'll just rinse off under the beach showers just to enjoy the scenery maybe go collect some shells but we'll see so I apologize if this was a Debbie Downer vlog normally I like to be uplifting but also I like to be real and honest here on my channel you know a lot of the times some and not all content creators or influencers on YouTube they tend to share only the good things but you know behind the scenes there's always other things that are happening behind the scenes that a lot of people really don't see so I put on a little bit of SPF before I came down I'm going to reapply it again if I do take a quick dip into the water, it'll be brief and short. Well, who knows, I might be just next to the small kids where they're building sandcastles and just hang around in the shallow, even though the theory is you can still drown in two inches of water. So we'll see. I'm always gonna play it safe. My family knows that I'm down here, but I just wanted to share that with you, like a little life update. 
And I feel better now that I'm actually down here. I got down here. I drove down here. I'm fine. I mean, I see a lot of other families that are enjoying themselves out in the sun. This makes me really happy. And to be honest, if I could come down to the beach when there's good weather every single day, I would. Because I don't like being at home with the exception of spending time with my family, working in my garden, working in my yard, weeding, planting flowers. Those flowers really make me happy and seeing things grow make me happy. So if I'm around my house, I feel a little bit more comfortable because I at least have maybe one or two people at home all the time and I'll let them know, hey, I'm out in the garden, you know, for the next 45 minutes and when I come in. So I just wanted to have a brief discussion. I mean, if you decided to skip this video because it was too depressing, I understand. I would appreciate a thumbs up. That helps my channel. And I welcome a lot of my new subscribers. If this is your first time to my channel, I apologize for you experiencing a Debbie Downer uh, video. But, you know, along with the good things in life comes concerns, comes bumps in the road, comes situations that hinder us from doing things. So I'm going to get off of this video. I hope that everyone out there is having a great and productive day. I'm, I'm going to enjoy myself at the beach. As soon as I get off with this video, I'm going to text my family and letting them know that I've arrived at the beach safely. And when I leave, I'll text them again. And I think over time, I don't foresee any more episodes like this happening. So I do think that as time goes on, you know, two months, three months, six months, a year, I'll feel a little bit more comfortable being in the water for a longer period of time. And yes, I'll be going on Amazon and looking for a safety vest. So if I'm in the water, at least I'm using some type of precaution because I don't want to bring my round floating tube because I don't feel that that's sufficient for me because I could easily just, you know, pass out on the tube and fall out of it in the water anyway. But um, yeah, I got myself out of the house. Step one, talk myself out of not going. Step two, because this girl's down at the beach enjoying herself. Step three, I'm gonna enjoy myself, journal, read a book. I brought my snacks, brought some guacamole and fresh fruit. Got my water, I'm gonna stay hydrated. Gonna stay sun protected. I got my hat with, with my um, beach hat scarf. And then, yeah, just enjoy myself. And then when I'm ready to leave, I'll text my family when I'm on my way home. But thank you for listening. I really appreciate it. A lot of you have been following me on my journey here on YouTube since day one. I think it's over six plus years that I've been on YouTube. I do YouTube just for a hobby. It's not here for me to make millions of subscribers and make big money and, you know, stuff like that. It's just a hobby for me to share my experience on what I do um, while I'm living here in Hawaii. So thank you for listening. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your support here on my channel. For those of you, leave comments or a thumbs up or, you know, just give me a view. And um, I hope that everyone out there is having a great and productive day. But until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Aloha. Go out there and have a great, wonderful, and blessed day. Aloha from Hawaii. Bye-bye. Shaka.